Right, we'll come to that in a second. I want to ask you first about Ukraine. What do you think, what, what do you say will or should happen there, Nigel? And, and a bit far out, but I'd also like to ask, what do you think would happen if the growing narrative, as I see it and others see it, that President Putin could resort to tactical nuclear weapons in Ukraine, and even in the, against the UK and other European nations, as quite a few people are talking about, proves to be the case. How would how would the, the US government address that? And how would our own government here in the UK address that? First things first, I think the endless expansion of NATO and the European Union was a long term strategic error. But none of that forgives the behavior of Putin and his forces uh, that we've seen over the course of the last year. None of it. I think that we have a military stalemate that will go on as it is for years and years to come with a huge loss of life on both sides. I'm astonished that no Western leader has really tried to broker a peace deal of any kind. I know Boris Johnson's just been in Texas saying, Ukraine will win. Well, maybe Ukraine will win, but uh, <laughs> history suggests that when the Russians' backs are against the wall, <laughs> you know, they kind of, win through whatever the cost. Um, and Putin has managed to build this narrative in Russia that the West's against them, the West's the enemy. You know, if we give in, we'll lose everything. So look, I, I sense in America that public opinion is tiring of endlessly supplying arms. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not to say. But I do think we need to at least attempt some sort of negotiated peace. Would Putin go as far as using nuclear weapons? Yes, of course, London very much threatened because, you know, we very much, I mean, the Brits under Boris took the lead on Ukraine. Yeah. Everybody else followed. Yeah, we were we were his worst enemy. Incidentally, without Brexit, we couldn't have done that. So the right to govern yourselves means you can make good decisions or bad decisions, but, but you know- we it's, all, it's all your fault. Well, of course, everything is. Um, we were freed to do that. Um, I tell you what, I really think. I think that Putin is now effectively a proxy for the Chinese Communist Party. I think the Chinese Communist Party now have a huge degree of sway over Putin. They can bankrupt him overnight. I mean, literally bankrupt him overnight. Now, they're not going to do that. They're too clever for that. And so I think the threat of the use of nuclear weapons recedes because that's pretty much the last thing China would want to happen to the world. Let's hope and pray that I'm right, but it's certainly a pretty serious situation. Let me ask you now, did your strategy in the last election of backing off, uh, contesting uh, those uh, uh, conservative seats and uh, handing the Tories a stunning majority, uh, being as, as one writer uh, put it, the midwife in yeah. the situation, turn out as you wished. You you failed to gain office at Westminster, but contrary to what you said a moment ago, you certainly have had a very, very major and profound effect on uh, forcing other political parties yeah. to adapt their policy position towards, uh, towards Europe and towards immigration. But where has it gotten you and your followers? And most importantly, well, where could it now go? Look, you know what? If I hadn't done what I'd done, we'd probably have faced a second referendum and years more of political agony. It was about reversing the status quo. It was about getting the constitutional win of leaving. We've done that. Everything else they've done has been a disaster. Do I regret what I did? I'm very thoughtful about it, but we've left. We're not gonna go back, we've left. We are an independent country. We may be mismanaging our affairs, but we are an independent country. Uh, so no, you know, big picture, it was the right thing to do. But the battles to get the UK back on track will go on for years and years to come. And with the Conservatives yeah, now... I'm, having... I'm way over time. I'm going to have to go, mate. Okay. 